How are you today, Lassie? Got a prescription there? Thank you. This is a new drug. I just got it in yesterday. You're lucky I got some in stock. And a bottle of the usual? Right. I'll add this to your bill. Bye, Lassie. Give my regards to the family. the most remarkable things I've ever seen. What is? A dog coming here to shop. Not really. We give her a 10% discount on everything. I want you in the hospital today. But I can't. It's the only place you can get the care you should have. And I want a lot more tests. I can't go. And I won't. I have the children to think of. What about your son, Stuart? Couldn't the children stay with him for a while? I don't know. Well, do you know where he is now? He's in California in a place called Lake Pines. You going to call Stuart? I guess I'll have to. If he can't come, I can arrange with Mr. and Mrs. Curtis. They'll take good care of him. And Lassie. Well, I don't know whether I can take care of her or not. Then there's no discussion. I'm not going to have them separated. No. Where do I get the idea that you've been eavesdropping, huh? Yes, Lassie. Eavesdropping outside of keyholes is her worst fault, isn't it, Lassie? Yeah, if she gets any smarter, I'll have to turn my practice over to her. <laughs> You'd probably do a better job, wouldn't you, Lassie? Just follow directions. I still prefer the pills. How do you know before you try it? Isn't it about time for you to go get Chip and Sam at school? Now get on with you. Go on. Hurry up. Operator, I would like to call Stuart Stratton person to person in Lake Pines, California. The Lake Pines Journal, please. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. This is ridiculous. Oh, come on, Amos. Will you stop grumbling? You're gonna love it. At the crack of dawn, I love nothing. It's hardly the crack of dawn, Amos. It's afternoon. Well, then what am I doing eating breakfast? I got him up early this morning so he could go out and buy that macho outfit he's wearing and his fishing equipment. Yeah, I saw his fishing stuff outside in the truck. You'd do better with a bent pin and a string. <laughs> <laughs> oh, any idea where you're gonna be? One of the lakes up near Granite Face Cliff. Whichever lake has the biggest and the fiercest fish in it. Fierce fish? <laughs> I just wait until you have an eight-pound bass in your line, you're gonna feel just like a king. You mean you've never been fishing before, Amos? Once at a carnival, I tossed a ping-pong ball into a bowl and won a goldfish. <laughs> this is hardly the same thing. It was delicious. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, um, is there a visitor center or a, an information bureau there? It's it's a, a resort. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. I, I will talk to anyone who answers. Please. Chamber of Commerce, Lake Pines, Miss McKendrick. Uh, Miss McKendricks, uh, this is Ada Stratton calling from Aztec, Arizona. I would like to get in touch with my son, Stuart Stratton. Yes, Mrs. Stratton. I know your son quite well. But I'm afraid he's not here right now. He uh, went fishing in the mountains. He left this afternoon. Well, um, uh, could the police locate him? Well, he's with the police. Uh, at least he's with the chief. Uh, even Amos Reams went along with him this time. Well, there must be some way to get in touch with him. Well, I could have call the ranger station and have them keep an eye out for him. But there must be over a hundred lakes out there where he could be. Well, I would appreciate anything that you could do, Miss... Kathy McKendrick. May I have your telephone number? From past experience, I'd say they won't be back for a week at least. I must talk to him. If it's really important, I can have the ranger send a helicopter up to search. Thank you. Bye. I don't have enough gas. You never do. <laughs> Besides, how'd you know what I wanted? Send up a helicopter, you said. That means a trip to the ranger station to sign the papers, and that means... Sometimes that... you're too smart for your own good. A dollar's not going to get me very far. There and back and 20 miles to spare, and I expect you to pay me back. Well, I don't get paid until next Wednesday. Good. Maybe you'll eat at home until then. Now get going. Yeah. Sure smells good, Grandma. Chip, you say the blessing, will you? Dear Lord, bless us food and us what eats it. Amen. Pass potatoes, please. Not only wasn't that a proper blessing, it wasn't even funny. Now, please say it right. Dear Lord, for what we are about to receive, we thank Thee. We thank Thee also for the many blessings in keeping us safe, happy, and strong. Please help the people that are less fortunate than we are and look upon them with kindness and understanding. Amen. And I bet everything's cold by now. Pass the potatoes, please. If I were the Lord, I'd strike you with a bolt of lightning. Well, I'm glad the Lord's more merciful than you are. I'll get it. Hello? Claire and Julie said that if I try for cheerleaders, they'll put me in the middle. What do you think? Do you think I ought to? Well, uh, I think you should make your own decisions. You know, you and Chip are getting old enough to make your decisions now. Grandma, it's for you. It's Dr. Spreckles. He says it's important. Well, tell Dr. Spreckles we're having supper, and I'll, I'll return his call. Thank you. Dr. Spreckles shall call you later. Wonder what he wanted. Well, he's probably giving flu shots. You know what a worry ward he is. Pour me some milk, would you, dear? You tell me again how pretty Mother was. Oh, well, you've seen her pictures. I know, but I like to hear well, the first time I saw Carolyn, she was about 15 years old, and she was already the prettiest girl I ever saw. No wonder Daddy fell in love with her. And Uncle Stuart, too. Where did you hear that? Everybody in town knows about it. I heard it from some kids at school. Sam? All these years, and people still remember and talk about it.
getting up lassie it's saturday I'm not getting up i said it's saturday Okay, you wait. Wake up Grandma and Sam and I'll get her. I'm up. should learn to knock before entering. Go find something else to do. I'll be out in a minute. I'm not so feeble I can't find my own slippers. Not yet I'm not. Go on with you. Oh, you're stubborn. I guess you get that from me. Thanks, Lassie. Grandma, you're all dressed up. I've decided that we're going to take a trip. To where? To California, where your Uncle Stuart lives. They've got the Dodgers there and the Angels and the Giants. Grandma, Uncle Stuart doesn't like us. He hardly knows you. How could he dislike you? Because Mom married Dad instead of him. Now, that's enough, Chip. What's the truth? The truth is that when he gets to know you, he'll love you almost as much as I do. What about school? We don't have to go to school. I have already talked to the principal. I'm ready to go now. <laughs> do we get a fly and a plane? No, we're going to take the pickup. That way we can take Lassie with us. They take dogs on planes. All crated up with the luggage. Would you want to do that to Lassie? No way. Uh-uh. Maybe we can go to Oakland and see Fred Bolitnikoff. Who's he? He's a wide receiver for the Oakland Raiders, and he's got sticky fingers. And when I shake his hands, I want to see if he has glue on him. Now, I don't know how long we're going to stay, so I want you to pack your clothes. And especially take the warm things, because Lake Pines is up in the mountains. It might be very cold up there. And pack your valuables. We don't want to leave any valuables in the empty house. Did you remember to call Dr. Spreckles? Yes. Oh, do you remember to pack your Patra comforter? I, I did everything. Now be quiet and, and let me drive. Maniacs, that's what drivers are nowadays. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid my nerves are shot. Grandma, want me to drive for a while? No, you're not old enough. I got my learner's permit and I'm a good driver. You said so yourself. Well, that's on country roads. This is the jungle. You better hide. They're probably looking for you. Yeah, they can look all they want to. It's the first time I've been away from that office in eight months. I'm unavailable. <laughs> give a hundred dollars if that thing would land and get me out of this wilderness of non-confusion. I'd give two hundred dollars just to have you shut up. Who ever heard of anybody fishing in a lake that's frozen over? We didn't know the lake was frozen until we got here, Amos. Well, you're supposed to be a detective or whatever. You should have been able to figure it out. But despair, Amos. We'll find another lake. Despair is my middle name. <laughs> Come on, Amos. Relax and enjoy it. It's a vacation. A vacation for me is indoor plumbing and room service. In that order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a joy, all right. Beautiful. 
You wouldn't want to get rid of her, would you? No, ma'am, never. Lassie's been with this family since she was born. <laughs> Grandma, can you drink some water? What's the matter? Is she Wash it down with this. <laughs> I think it's all right. Please, go back to your tables, please. It's going to be all right. Go on back, please. I'm going to be all right now. <laughs> it was a heart attack, wasn't it? No, certainly not. I said, go, I got to a gallbladder. I've been having a lot of gallbladder attacks lately. Grandma, I was really scared. I'm a tough old bird, Chip. <laughs> Didn't think I was gonna let a gallbladder get me down, did you? <laughs> it was a heart attack, wasn't it? I told you what it was. I know what you said. I well, don't believe it. You can take my word, can't you? I'm not a baby anymore, Grandma. Please tell me the truth. Well, I... I didn't want to burden you with it. it uh, I've been having heart attacks for a while now. They're, they're little ones and nothing big. You could have told me. But now that I told you the truth, we... Can't we just... forget it and... Enjoy the trip? Huh? Sure. I never thought of her as being old, Lassie. Seeing her like that. I can't even remember her being sick before. I want to tell her I love her. I don't know how. Watch your hotels on your side, and I'll watch on mine. Okay, Grandma. Look at the palm trees, Lassie. It's really California. <laughs> Grandma, the road's clear. Grandma? Grandma? dead. Stand by. Oh. 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 Is your chief there? Fishing? How about coming with me? Where are we going? Well, there's a nice family, the Waldrops. Well, you can stay with them a couple of days until we can get a hold of your uncle. Come on. Come on, Lassie. 
This is Sergeant Lewis, the Hemet Police Department. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, ensure in certain hope of the resurrection unto eternal life. these strangers. Talk to Uncle Stewart yet? No, but we left a lot of messages for him. He'll call. I'll come out to see you every chance I get. We were keeping her. She has to stay at the animal show. Why? You can't let them. Well, I don't have any say about it, honey. We're just renters. The landlord won't allow us to have any pets. It's not a pet. It's Lucy. Come on, no. children. Now no. leave her. No. No, 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 Lucy. Tell me this. Please, Lucy. If you're just going to take care of her until your uncle is ready to go to father.
You said we could go visit Lassie tomorrow. Well, Joan can take you to the shelter. Pound. Please eat something, Chip. I'm not hungry. I know that this is a very hard time for you, but it'll pass. <laughs> Bad things always do. It just takes time. You let them take Lassie away. For no reason. She could have slept in the backyard. It's just that she's never been away from us at night. And she's probably all chained up in some strange place. Scared and lonely. With no one to care for her. Like us. Well, you're with us. We care for you. But the city pays you to keep us. Chip, be quiet. Well, they do, don't they? Let him be alone for a while. I'll go talk to him. It was a very good supper, ma'am. Thank you. Sam, what are we going to do now? What's going to happen to us? I'll think of something. Put us in an orphanage like the one in Aztec with the fence all the way around it. They won't do that to us. They can't. They don't even let boys and girls stay together in the same orphanage. And I heard the people come by and they stand you up in the line. And if they like the way you look, they'll snatch you up and take you home with them. And no one's going to want the both of us together. If we can't be together and take Lassie with us, we won't go. They don't ask you if you want to go or not. They just take you. And you know what they do to dogs at the pound? I guess our only hope is Uncle Stewart. He isn't going to want us. We'll look on the bright side. We'll go see him like Grandma wanted. What are we going to do about Lassie? We've got to get her away from that place. We'll figure out something tomorrow when Mrs. Wilder takes us to visit her.
the man's looking for her. We gotta run away. They'll probably get the police after us. Do you want us to stay here and be put in one of those orphanages you talked about? And have Lassie take him to the pound and, you know. Lassie, I'll never let anyone take you again in your life, I promise. I'll promise her later. Get dressed. like their friends. You're the scruffiest thing I ever seen. You need a bath, boy. Gonna have to take them with us. Look, the farther we get away from here before daylight, the better off we're gonna be. Come on. Hurry up. Come on, Scruffy. Lassie, stay against the wall. As soon as you see the police department, run for it. Okay. We can get put in jail for stealing. We're not stealing. The pickup belongs to us now. Where are the keys? Get the key. Let's get out of here. I'm looking. I'm looking. Hurry up. Oh, shut up. You're making me nervous. I don't think they're here. Maybe they kept them. Oh. Oh. Hide behind the truck. Wake up, Chip. Check the map. See if there's a town close by. We're almost out of gas. Maybe we can get something to eat, too. How can I tell if I don't know where we are? Uh, a few minutes ago, we passed a place called uh, San Jacinto. Here's a town called Beaumont. How far? About this far. Can we make it? We've got no choice but to try.
Hello? Be with you in a speck. Uh, take care of yourself until I can get there. Yeah, I'd like the truck outside filled with gas, please. Let me just uh, tote this up first. How's it going, Jack? I don't know yet. I just got out of bed. Well, I tell you, you ought to have a good breakfast. Yeah, well, this is it. It comes to five ninety. I keep the gasoline separate from this. Good morning. Good morning. We'll be going now. Thank you very much. I thought you said you wanted some gasoline, too. Uh, no, I guess not. Thanks just the same. Hey, just a minute. Miss? Yes, sir? You're not driving that pickup, are you? Uh, no, sir. My daddy is. Well, I don't see him anywhere around. He went to the men's room. Ma, uh, where are you from? San Diego, sort of. That's in California. Where are you headed? Los Angeles. That's in California, too. We're on a kind of a vacation to see if uh, Fred Balenkoff has got sticky fingers. Yeah, he's a baseball player. Don't go play now.
Come on, Chip. Come on. Dispatcher, dispatcher, this is 943. Come in, please. Dispatcher. Well, thanks, J.D. It was a great trip. Yeah, it was. Yes, we must do it again sometime soon. <laughs> well, like it or not, Amos, it took off some of your flap. I don't consider sleeping on rocks, freezing to death, and doing what comes naturally as keeping in shape. I'll stay flabby, thank you. Ugh, nasty little creatures. <laughs> oh, that's about all our gear. Oh, good. He gone? Yeah, why? I got to admit. A good hot bath would feel good right now. <laughs> sure, I agree with you, old man. Take care, J.D. Will do. What shall I cook for dinner? How about uh, anything but fish? What happened? I don't know. My mother called. She was very disconnected. The operator? Yes, I'd like to talk person to person to a Sergeant Lewis. Hammett Police Station, area code 714-658-2202. Mm. I wish we could punch a hole in that aqueduct and get some water. See if we can get a drink. Will you look at her? Yeah, at least she knows which one to use. <laughs> you know, there must be some kind of animal act around here somewhere. Yeah, it looks like it to me. Truly, 
nice of you to give us a ride, Ron. Yeah, just don't ever tell anybody because it's against regulations. Yeah, sorry exactly. we can't take you all the way to UK, yeah, but we got to get back to base, that is, before we uh, get any more trouble than we already are. What base is it? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. Camp Wallace practice range, and uh, you're right about the nowhere part. Advise you all roads open in Canyon Pass. Wind is moderate. 10-4. Now that's the Highway Patrol, or the Chippies. <laughs> wow, you guys got a name for everything. <laughs> like I always say, turnabout's fair play, and uh, if they can call us jarheads, we can call them names too, right? You bet. This is your Kuiper dispatch. Update the missing persons report. We're just out of Mentone on our way to Green Spot, but still no sign of the kids. What do you want us to do? Stay on it. There's a lot of heat coming down. Stop at every underpass and look. They may have left signs that they were there. And if there's a drainage ditch running alongside, check it. That'll take days. If it takes that long, they could be dead. I wonder who they're looking for. Oh, I got no idea at all. You, Mitch? Not at all. You know, whoever it is the police are looking for, they certainly won't be looking for them on this road. Whoever it is they're looking for. Where does it go? Baghdad, straight out of the Arabian Nights. Nah, but it's the way we get back to base anyway. We could drop you off at Baghdad, and if you stay right on the road, you'll get to your Kaipa. Wish we could take you all the way, but we're already late getting back. Oh, <laughs> are we ever? Like I said, you stay on this road, and you'll get to your Kaipa. Somebody will come along and pick you up. Take care. Thanks a lot. Okay, kids, take it easy. Bye-bye. Okay, you gonna do it or am I? Aw, oh, man, you do it. You're the best fink I know. And that's exactly what I feel like doing, buddy. But let me tell you, it's for their own good. Calling Highway Patrol. Highway Patrol, come in. This is the Highway Patrol. Who's this? We just gave a ride to two kids and two dogs. Does that mean anything to you? Please identify yourself. We picked them up at a rest area near Fenner Junction and uh, gave them a ride to Baghdad. Right now, they're headed up somewhere around Eucapia. prosecuted neither do I but it's too late now we've got to go on we should have stayed on the road like Ron and Mitch told us to there's too many police on the highway and besides cutting through here says is about an extra hundred miles Lake Pines is up there yeah but it looks awfully far away you better get going then Come on, Lassie, help us. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, help us, Lassie. That's it. Dig, Chip. I am digging. We've been looking all over. No, thank you. Let's check the railroad back. Okay. Nobody's seen anything. Let's get out of here. There's 
There's nothing over there either. Unit 17. Watch out, be careful. for us to be wrong. Anything? Nothing yet, sir. What do you guys have to do to find two lost kids? Well, we've got every available man on it, and some of us have been up for 20 hours. We've been patrolling every highway and road and cow track from here to Beaumont. I can't be so sure they're headed this way. I can't imagine you're taking seriously some anonymous tip. It's the only tip we have, sir. And if it's true they're trying to get to you at Lake Pines, it's a logical route. <laughs> but, officer, all Mr. I... Mr. Stratton, most of those men out there looking for them have kids of their own. Brooding. I wasn't a very good son. She deserved better. What would you have done differently? I don't know. Seen her more often, called her. I've been so stubborn or un unforgiving. Well, I'll agree that you're stubborn. <laughs> but you're not unforgiving. You don't know the whole story. I don't know any of it. It's a part of your life you never told me. Maybe because it seems so silly now, but it wasn't then. You see, my brother Charlie and I fell in love with the same girl. She chose him. I never quite got over it. Stupid. Yeah. Especially when there are a lot of nice girls like me around. What happened then? Hmm. On their wedding day, I joined the army. 
I only did it to hurt them, but I hurt my mother, too. So, like I said, she deserved better. Did she blame you? Or did she understand? Oh, she understood. That's why it hurt so much. You know, if I was half the man I pretend to be, I would have been best man at that wedding, kiss Carolyn on the cheek, and wish them happiness forever. Stuart, that was then. This is now. You're not the same person. When they died, I went home. There were the two children, babies, really, left for my mother to raise. I could have stayed. I could have helped, but I didn't. By then, you had your own life to lead. Could your mother really have wanted you to give it all up and come back to the nest? Probably not, but I'll never know I didn't ask her. Now, Kath, the, th the thing I can't get out of my mind is the, is the picture of my mother desperate to try and get a hold of me because she knew she was dying. Packing the kids up and driving off in a pickup truck, trying to reach me before it happened. Having her die in the middle of a street of a strange town and to have the kids there to... To see it. your leg. Come on. It's all my fault. I killed him. It's not your fault, really. Oh. Don't move around. It makes the poison get into the blood faster. I'll put it on a constriction band. Don't move around, Chip. Please stay as still as you can. Savage burns like fire. If the poison gets to your heart, Lassie, fetch me a branch. I think I'm supposed to slow the blood flow down, but not stop it completely. Is that right? Yes, and keep the leg down. This is gonna hurt, but, but you're tough. You can stand it. What are you gonna do? Cut your leg. I'm gonna try and get as much of the poison out as possible. Oh. Well, you're a boy scout. You know what I have to do. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Here, bite down at it as hard as you can. Quick, quick, quick. Oh! Ow! Lassie, I don't know how far we are from help, but, well, that old road must lead somewhere. Follow it. I don't know if you can find anyone, but try. Try hard, Lassie, please.
Why, you poor thing. Where'd you come from? You look like you've been through a lot. You stay there, and I'll get you some water. Now, just stay there. shape if you won't even drink water. I'm gonna call the doctor. Hello, 
Jerry, this is Juno at the station. Well, there's a dog out here. She come up and just fell down. Well, I tried to give her some water, but she's too exhausted to even drink it, poor thing. Well, come as quick as you can. All right. You're gonna be all right, girl. Just you take it easy, and we'll fix you up. Has she got anything? Exhaustion, for one thing. What are you gonna give her? A sedative. Rest easy, girl. Hold it for me. This won't hurt a bit. Now, be good, girl. Doc's gonna help you. That's a good girl. Scruffy. Scruffy? My fault. Grandma? Hang on, Chip. Please. Please, God. I'm sorry for lying so much and anything bad I've ever done. But Chip's always been good and he doesn't deserve to die. And if you let him live, I'll never lie or do anything wrong ever again. I promise. What are you doing awake? That sedative should have kept you asleep for another four hours. Relax, and I'll bring you some food. Okay, girl, okay. You'll tear your nails off if you don't stop. I'll give you another shot. Calm you down. There's no need to be afraid. Good girl. Hey, come back! Hey, come back here! How about some breakfast at the diner? I just saw J.D. go in. No, good. Maybe he's heard something. If he had, he'd have called you. Or maybe he tried to call after we left the house. What's going to happen to them after they find them? Boarding school, I guess. Best place for them. On second thought, have breakfast by yourself. What's wrong with her? I can't imagine. Wait a minute. What's all the racket out here? The reporter and the kids said that they had a collie with them. Are you serious? That dog couldn't have made it all this way. Come here, girl. Come here. No, 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 not girl. It's, um... Um... Lassie. Lassie? Lassie, come here. Lassie! That's the dog! Lassie!
I think she's just conned us into keeping her company. You chase a lot of dogs, do you, Amos? I chased my share, but they weren't all dogs. I almost married one once. Well, this is too serious to joke about. Do you honestly believe that dog, if it's the right dog, could have gotten this far alone? Maybe and maybe not, but if it is Lassie, then she probably knows where the kids are, and we've got to try. Okay, Sam, let's go. Let's see. <coughs> All right, easy does it. I can walk. It hurts, but I can walk at least half of oh, oh. Dr. Brewer said what you did was exactly right. You saved his leg and his life. Thanks, J.D. Yeah, I'll send your bill for the gas. Oh, great. I'll just add it to the rest of the damages I have to pay for. See ya. <laughs> Take care, J.D. We're really sorry, Uncle Stewart. Well, be sorry later, sweetheart. Let's get inside. It's cold out here. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. The dog stays outside in the garage. But she's not used to staying now. Dogs are made to stay outside. That's why God gave them fur. But Lassie's not just dog. She's people. People or not, I am allergic to dogs of any persuasion. She stays outside, and that's final. But Uncle Stewart, she wouldn't understand. I'm sorry, Sam. I, I, but I'm very adamant about this. No pets allowed. Come on, Chip, Lassie. We're not wanted here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, where are you going? I don't know. We'll find some place. Amos, don't look at me. It's your problem. I guess I'm just not used to dealing with children. Lassie saved our lives, and she goes where we go. There's an awful lot of your grandmother in you, you know that. <laughs> All right, all right, she could stay inside, but not downstairs near the bedrooms, up here, or I'll be up sneezing all night. Come on, kids, I'll show you your bedroom. You stay here, Lassie, you understand? You're to stay here. That's round one. Anything I can get you before I go to bed? You want to take Lassie to your bedroom for tonight? Every time she moves or anything, I sneeze. <coughs> Why don't we have her stuffed? You're disgusting, you know that? I'm glad you noticed. I try hard enough. <sighs> Uh, Avis, what am I going to do about these kids? And look at this list of damages I have to pay for. Ever think of keeping them? Giving them a home? Oh, come on, Avis. I can't do that. I mean, a bachelor shouldn't have kids. What you really mean is they might get in your way. Children at that age need a father and a mother. 
Well, they certainly got that at a boarding school. Hey, I got a great idea. It'll be a first. I better write it down. Why don't you get them an apartment in town, pay them pauper's wages, let them deliver the newspaper? Go to bed, Avis. Well, if you don't like that, I got another idea. Why don't you marry Kathy? That way, they'll get a good mother. <laughs> and what makes you think she would want to bury me? <laughs> you're not only allergic to dogs, you're blind, too. Amos, go to bed. <sighs> A bachelor. A happy one at that. I, I have my own life to lead. I don't need kids around to mess it up for me. A boarding school is the best place for them. But they're good to the children. They, uh, they guide them. They teach them. That way they'll have both a, a father and a mother image. What am I doing talking to a dog? Well, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm make some phone calls, find out the best school available. And I'll figure out what to do about you later. Well, I'd last you stay here. Les, you heard your orders, now stay here. Les, you get back up here where you belong, or I'll take a switch to... <laughs> You were right. Uh, she wouldn't have been happy surrounded by strangers, so uh, while you two were eluding the police, I had her brought here. Thank you, Uncle Stewart. Yes, she'll like it here. You can visit her whenever you want and bring flowers. Does that mean you want us to stay here with you? Uh, just for a month's trial. If it doesn't work out in that time, it's uh, off to boarding school, okay? We'll be good, Uncle Stewart. We'll work for you and help pay back the police car that was wrecked. All right, I'll... enough. I can't take all this goodness at once. Oh, it's Scruffy! It's Scruffy! Oh, Scruffy! What on earth is that? That's Scruffy! Good old Scruffy! Oh, no, no, another one. What's one more or less? <laughs> Take it as a friend of yours. Well, you'll love him, Uncle Stuart. And wait till we give him a bath. He's really a wonderful dog. <laughs> now, why do I get the feeling my life has suddenly changed? For the worse. Oh, no. Kids, come on. <laughs> <laughs>